Hi everyone, it's James from the Fit RV, coming to you from the popular mechanics tent at the Outdoor Retailer Show 2016. And I'd like to talk to you today about a very serious subject for RV camping, bears. There's pretty much nothing about your RV trip that can't be ruined by the application of bear. They're sort of the drunken, obnoxious frat boys of the animal kingdom. They will show up uninvited to your party, they will eat all your food, they will drink all your beer, they'll leave the place a mess, and then they'll start hitting on your date, who kind of likes it because his parents bought him an RX-7, and all you can afford is an old pickup truck, even though you're actually in the band. Beth. Anyway, I thought I would use some of my time at Outdoor Retailer to highlight some products that can help RVers deal with the bear menace that is sweeping the country, and I think I found a couple, so let's have a look. So here I am at the booth for the Camp Guard Motion Alarm Lantern, and I've got Paul with me. Paul, what can you tell us about this lantern? Well, the innovation with this lantern is you're going to get some great protection when you're out camping. Uh, with our lantern, it provides a 360 degree perimeter detection system, and with that, that's a 35 feet from the lantern is where that's set. There's a couple of different modes you can select. Okay. You can select a light only mode, right. as well as a light and alarm mode. So that will allow you to kind of cater that to whatever you like. I use it a lot when I'm out camping in just the light mode where the kids get out of the tent, the light comes on, right, we're not messing right. around looking for a flashlight. But you know, if we're nervous when we're out there, we'll turn that alarm mode on. There you that go. That kind of alerts us, wakes us up, or even drives those animals off. So that will alert you to, in particular, bears, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like anything that's, uh, anything that's bigger than a 16 inch diameter solid surface, it's gonna pick that up. So even something like a raccoon that may be getting into the food in camp, okay. you know what I okay. mean? Could drive them off as well. So kind of any intruder, raccoon, all the way to bear, or any unwanted individual, perhaps, that's coming into camp, you know. <laughs> well, like a drunken frat boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, drunken frat boys definitely drive those up, or at least, you know, at least they'll sit down and, and be aware that, hey, there's some light here. Right on. I'll start looking. So is this a rechargeable? How does it, how's it powered? Well, so right now, this current model, this is our first uh, offering in the marketplace, and this one is off, actually powered by four D-cell batteries, okay. right? So that Available anywhere? Yeah, it is, absolutely. It's available on Amazon.com, Sportsman's Warehouse, and some other retailers very soon. Okay, so any, any parting words for our viewers? You know, really, it's, uh, it's really more than just a lantern. Think about it as, as mobile security for your campsite or even in-home use, you know what I mean? That's really where this comes into play and can make a big difference. All right, I like it. Thanks, Paul, appreciate your time. Yep, bye, bye. So now I'm here at the Counter Assault booth where they've got some more bear deterrent type products. And I'm here with George. Now George, the first thing that lured me into your booth was this bear spray here. So what can you tell us about that? Well, Countersalt is the original bear spray developed with the University of Montana in uh, 1980 to 86 in coordination with the Grizzly Bear Border uh, Program. Uh, it is a capsaicin uh, product that uh, distributes capsaicin in a, in a fog type pattern out to 30 feet for as much as nine seconds, which totally encompasses the bear's defensive yes. mechanisms, his, his eyes, his nose, the soft <laughs> tissues of the mouth, inside the lungs to cause respiratory uh, distress. Turns all of their defenses uh, off so that they are now turned from a fight to a flight type of mentality. That's excellent. And so when we were in uh, Glacier National Park recently, a bunch of the trails were closed because of bears. So if you developed it with the University of Montana, I'm pretty confident they know they're bears. Yes, uh, there are a lot of bears in northwest Montana, <laughs> uh, particularly in Glacier National Park in Yellowstone, but also all through the northern continental divide and, uh, in, and down into the Yellowstone ecosystem. We've even got them here in Utah. So. We do. We have black bears in Utah. Uh, more than you'll ever see, they're very timid and oftentimes will avoid contact, but if they're predatory in nature, that's when you're going to have a problem. And speaking of avoiding contact, you've got another product that just I just lit up when I saw this thing. Kind of a, that's almost kind of a pun, isn't it? <laughs> lit up, yes. <laughs> We've got this over here. It's a portable electric fence for bears. That's right. It's a, a 53 foot long linear feet. It encompasses 189 square feet of space. It generates uh, 8,000 volts off of four D-cell batteries. Those batteries will run for 30 to 45 <laughs> days if there's no grounding that happens. Bears don't like electricity. They, uh, yes. they leave the scene. In fact, uh, beehives and the chicken coops and granaries, 
are all protected by electric fences to keep the bears out. Wow. And uh, so you, you mentioned four D-cell batteries, but we're RVers. We've got a, a house battery system that's 12 volts. Do you have something we could hook it up to that with? Yeah, it comes with an accessory uh, connection that you can hook to a 12-volt battery, and whether that's an RV or a car battery or a, you know, a regular flashlight square battery, it'll adapt to that. Of course, you get uh, more volts and more uh, Yes. Time out of a, a heavy more, more voltage would be a good thing. Yeah. So, in addition to bears, would this also work against foreign tourists with bad campsite manners who keep walking through your RV site half dressed on their way to the shower? People don't like electricity either. So, All right. Uh, they say fences make good neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> this one would make an excellent neighbor, and I can't wait. I, I am dreaming up experiments to use with your fence. I'm looking, looking forward to this. It's going to be awesome. It also qualifies as a uh, bear resistant food containment system for those that are in the back country on float trips or pack trips where those type of things are required by the Forest Service or the Park Service. And, and it packs down to that bag there? It packs down to that bag, a Cordura bag that uh, it contains everything you need including the uh, fence tester that will tell you your voltage is where it needs to be. Okay. It has the uh, grounding rod that can be pounded into 36 inches if you have trouble reaching a good ground. It's all contained right there. Awesome. And where can people get these? Uh, right now, uh, you can pick it up at uh, Sportsman's Warehouse. Yes. You can buy them at uh, several of the local dealers that are uh, carrying it. If you're in Montana, you can find it at uh, some of the uh, put-in uh, ramps where the float trips begin. There are even some uh, retailers that are renting them for just the pack of the float trips. Rental, I like it. All right, um, any parting words? Because if not, I'm really excited about this one. Well, Countersalt's uh, been, been in business now for 30 years. We know bears. We, <laughs> we live with bears. We're in Kalispell, Montana. <laughs> Have them right in the yard. Awesome. Thank you so much, George. You're welcome. And that's going to do it for us here with our Bear Deterrent products at Outdoor Retailer 2016. See you later. Bye.